Hi, welcome back to my channel, Michelle, and today I wanted to share with you our chore system we have for our kids. So if you're new here, I have a nine-year-old, five-year-old, two-year-old. This is mainly aimed at my nine and five-year-old. My two-year-old does help around the house, but his abilities are limited at this point, so he doesn't have his own separate little chore chart. But so what we do in our house is, and I'm gonna warn you right now, when I explain the how I organize everything and how I come up with their chores, you're gonna definitely see my type A personality come out. <laughs> it's very organized and color-coded and that's just who I am. It does not have to look like this for you by any means. This is just my personality coming through here. So, how I've devised our chores in our house is first of all, chores are something that is expected in our house. We do not do any type of reward system or allowances. Honestly, I've tried those in the past and they've never stuck. They've never been motivation for my kids to do work. So how we have it arranged now is their chores or something they have to do before they can do their electronic or TV time. They get 30 minutes on their tablet every day and 30 minutes of a TV show, something usually like PBS is what they usually choose. But in order to do, the, do those things, they have to have their chores accomplished. So it's that simple. We've never had an issue with it. They've never not chosen to do their chores because they want to do those things. And I think it's an important lesson to teach that sometimes we have to do our work before we get to have our fun, not having that instant gratification all the time. And in regards to things like allowance, my children have the opportunity if they ever need to earn money or want to save money for something because we normally only buy gifts or toys or things like that during holidays or birthdays. Other than that, if they want something, we have a wish list that they, they say, mom, put this on my wish list. I put it on the wish list and it stays there. But if they ever want to earn money for a specific thing, we will they will come to us and we will come up with different jobs or things they can do to earn that money towards it. But that's only happened, I wanna say, maybe twice. I remember my oldest wanted a Barbie RV camper and it was like $50. So it took her a while to save up that amount of money, but we would give her jobs additional to her normal chores. So let's go over how I first organize it. So I have these little pocket charts and I got this from the dollar store, so they're a dollar. I have red and purple, so my kids can tell the difference. And I think this is extremely helpful for my five-year-old because although she can read a little bit, she's not a fluent reader. So this gives me the opportunity to use pictures and it's also tactile that when they finish whatever thing they've done, they can just flip it over and know it's done. So it's that visual reminder, which really helps with my five-year-old who has a lot of times focusing on her tasks. So there's little pockets here that you can put things and these are kind of their basic things. These are things that don't change. So every day this is, for example, this is my oldest. So every day brush teeth and hair, obviously that has to be done. My oldest will unload the dishwasher. I will load it every night. Dining room table, setting the table making their bed every morning, and then essential is feed the dog. And again, I just use images on Word to print this out, and it's just printed on paper, and then I glued it onto extra card stock I had, so it's a little more durable, and it doesn't kind of warp. So those are the basic things that they have to do. And then how I've divided it into it is I, for my own cleaning schedule, I do a zone cleaning. So my house is split up into, I believe, four different areas. And I concentrate on that specific zone or that area of my house for that week. And then the next week, I'll move on to another zone. If you're familiar with fly lighting cleaning zones, that's kind of what I do. A little modified though. But what I'm able to do with that is I can give the kids specific jobs for the area that I am working on in the house that week. So for example, if I'm doing the kitchen, the kitchen is its own zone because there's a lot to clean in the kitchen and a lot to do, I can make specific chores for that. So it takes kind of the workload off me, which is really nice. So what I do is I have these little cards that I printed again, and it's just cardstock on um, construction paper actually. But all of the 
ones are, you can see, color-coded. That's where the type A comes out. But every co color represents a different zone in the house. So we have this little envelope that I keep the chores in. And if I'm in, say, the kitchen zone I will that week, I will pick out this and I have them pick two or three chores in additional to their normal daily chores that they will have to accomplish. And that just makes it really easy for me to just pick the specific color out and know that's the zone we are working in. So I will show you some of the examples of what I have. So this one is bedrooms and bathrooms are combined into one zone. So we have the girls have to clean their closets because I don't know how your kids' closets are, but it's just like a dump zone. <laughs> so they have to go through, make sure their clothes, is hung, their clothes are hung up and there's not paper everywhere. There's always paper scraps everywhere with children. So they have to make sure that's cleaned up. Um, we have the little soap dispensers. My girls can refill those in the bathrooms. They have to clean under their bed because again, that's just a catch-all where they show, shove things. This is um, garbages, so they can certainly clean or empty the garbages in the bathroom. Wipe the baseboards. This is, um, we have a very old wooden house and the baseboards are really big and they get very dusty very easily. So we have these little mop hand things they put on and they just wipe them really quick. We have shredding. This is just, uh, I didn't have anywhere else to put it. So shredding, they help dad do the shredding. They just hand them the papers and stuff. They're obviously not shredding things by themselves. Clean the rooms, vacuum. They have, we have a uh, hardwood floors, but they each have a large rug in their room that again, collects Legos and scraps of paper, or crumpled up leaves. So they can operate a vacuum completely fine. They can dust their rooms in the bathrooms. They can wipe windows and they can replace the toilet paper in the bathrooms, which I have to say this is my two year old's favorite chore. Now again, they will not do all of these chores. They will pick, my five year old will probably pick two of these. My nine year old will probably pick three. And those are the three jobs that they have to complete for that week. So let's move on. So this next one would be kind of hallways and I believe living room. So we have, again, wipe the baseboards, wipe the stairs. We have wooden stairs there again, super dusty and just collect a bunch of toys, dusting. And we have a small table near our entryway that they are also capable of it. But what's really nice with the pictures is my five-year-old can look at it and know what her job is. So again, you'll see dust in every single one of our zones because again, old wooden house, lots of dust. So dust and um, cleaning out the dog dishes. They occasionally need to be actually washed by hand and soap and water and cleaned off because they get that like weird film on them. And then kitchen cabinets. So again, they can use that little mitten duster and wipe off the kitchen cabinets really quick because those get dirty. All right, this is again, living areas. So wiping down the coffee table. We have bookshelves that they can dust and wipe off. We have a play kitchen that this is the exact picture, which is really helpful with my five-year-old to have exact pictures of what they are so she knows. So wiping that down and putting the play kitchen food away, cleaning under the couch, because you know everything goes under either under the couch or in the couch cushions, um, cleaning up the art supplies. We have a specific bin that we keep stuff and it gets disorganized, Walk, wiping off end tables, dusting, wiping baseboards, and then straightening the books on the bookshelf, making sure that they're where they're supposed to be and not just where my two-year-old can get them and rip them apart. And the last one is kind of outside area. So we have yard work. So any cleanup we have to do, we do have a 13 year old miniature dachshund. So cleaning up his dog poop is one of the chores that nobody enjoys doing, but it's part of having a dog. Um, cleaning out the garage, making sure their toys are put away, their bikes are put away, bubbles are put away, that it's not just strewed everywhere. And gardening, this is usually more late spring, summer chore. But even right now we're growing inside um, tomatoes to transplant outside when it's warm, that they can certainly water the plants and <laughs> make sure the two-year-old isn't destroying them. But 
when it comes to summer, they'll also do weeding and watering of the garden, things along that way. So that is just a quick overview of how we do it. And again, they will pick those two or three jobs and it will go into their pocket chart. And when they are done, they flip it over. And as long as it's done by the end of the week, we're good. And I've never once had either of them not finish. So it's a really good program that has worked for us for a while now. And again, I've tried a lot of the reward system ones and it's just, it never worked with my kids. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below. If not, thanks for watching.